Welcome to Hudson Yards. This is a relatively new developed part of Manhattan and behind us is a rather large set of steps called the Vessel and I guess it's called that because it looks a little bit like a cruise ship and just on the other side behind us that is called the Shed and that is a concert and theatre venue. Now there's lots to do in Hudson Yards, it's got its own subway station and it is also home to the High Line, so let's take a look around. There are many different shops that you can look at at Hudson Yards. It is known as the Shed, but I can just see the actual official name, I suppose, of this concert venue, and it's called the McCourt. Look at this. Wow. It appears that the Shed is on some sort of track. So you could actually just push it away. And we are quite close to the Hudson River. That's why it's called Hudson Yards. And um, <laughs> I think it would take quite a lot of horsepower to push this mighty beast into the river in the distance. So I guess you could say this feature on Hudson Yards, we're doing the whole nine yards. Do you fancy walking up those steps, Paul? Uh, not on a hot, blistery, sunny day. No, and I'm scared of heights, so I think we might just give it a miss. Hudson Yards even has a new subway line for the 7 train. you go for great views like this our show of course ah absolutely so please subscribe
follow the tracks. We are on our way to the High Line. So what is the High Line, Paul? Uh, this is a row of tracks that is being used for green spaces and for people to love more of nature. Uh, old railway tracks. It's an old railway yeah. line, disused line. And um, you could see the tracks as we walk along them. And in fact, it does really look like the start of an old railway, which of course it is. And it is next to Hudson Yards, which is one of the depots for the Long Island Railroad, which is sitting just there. And it will run into Penn Station, and way beyond those buildings. This is a bit of a train spotter's delight here. Um, because you can see all the Long Island Railroad trains lined up at Hudson Yards. These are the trains going from Penn Station, I believe. But we are going to continue our journey on the High Line. It could be a highlight of the show. There are great views of the Hudson River over here. Of course, that's why this area is called Hudson Yards. Um, New Jersey. And New Jersey in the distance. We're only, what, a mile? Less than a mile Less away than from a mile. New Jersey? Yeah, just over there. And I think that area, is it called um, Weehoken or something? Was it Hoboken? Well, it's just remember. on the weather map. It said that we, <laughs> even though we're staying in Manhattan, it, it thought that we were in New Jersey. Because that's probably where the closest weather station is. I wasn't aware that they had a subway line on the west side before. So this is all really new to me. And of course you can see lots of other sites along the way. Look at this, just between all these tower blocks, all these office blocks. In the distance just there is the Empire State Building. Well, you can really get a feel of the old railway here. Look at that. It's a junction. You can see the old wooden sleepers as well. Welcome to the Persian Square Beams. This is a shared public space provided for the enjoyment of children with adult supervision. Please be courteous and respectful to others. And you can get a perspective of where we were before uh, at Hudson Yards with the vessel. And just to the right of it, in front of that would be the shed. But you can't see it because there's a, a tower block there. chance to sit down as well. Earlier on, we saw the shed and I said it was on, on wheel. And look, you can sort of, from this perspective, right next to it, from the high line, you can see why, because it's literally next to the old railway. So it's been inspired by that.
Well, I believe that we are coming up to what is known as the 30th Street Spur uh, because you had two different lines converging. And um, right over here, there's some information about the High Line, so let's take a look at that. Wow, what a great place to sit to enjoy different views of the city. I do highly recommend visiting the High Line. So this is the actual spur where you've got the two different lines going off. Now, when we came to the High Line a few years ago, it wasn't as developed as this. And the little section that was open had a bit of a reputation. What because, kind of reputation? Well, you see, there was a hotel. Uh-huh. Um, there were no curtains on the windows. What? And it was a perfect spot to see naked people in their hotel rooms. Now, not that you went out looking for that, but it just, it just so happened that you would see all manner of antics going on and the people in the hotel were completely unaware that you could see them completely there. Look Marcus. Yes, it looks like a wild boar next to a big apple. Well, we are opening out into a greener area of the High Line now. The atmosphere does change a bit as you move away from Hudson Yards and you head in towards Chelsea. Well, we are opening out into a greener area of the High Line now. The atmosphere does change a bit as you move away from Hudson Yards and you heading towards Chelsea. Well, if you want to visit the High Line, it's open every day from 7 a.m. until sunset. So I would highly recommend it. See, highly. Definitely worth a visit. Marcus, look at all these lovely flowers. What are they? Well, it says it's a prairie and it's the latest part of the High Line. It says it's been nature-inspired gardens, a native prairie grassland sown with 34 species of North American grasses and flowering perennials. They look like little sunflowers, don't you think? Yeah. Very interesting structure and sculpture, I would say. Definitely very artistic. Mark 
Damascus. These are the many dark hedges that we see everywhere. Yes, they are. They provide absolutely glorious shit on a hot day. There is a lot of seating area here overlooking the busy street in Manhattan. Oh, there is Mother Teresa and Mahatma Gandhi. This doesn't look like the Statue of Liberty that I know. 